School districts across the state are facing budget deficits for the next two years. The reasons why come back to declining enrollments and the impacts of the pandemic. Reporter Pafui Yang explains why schools are hoping the legislature will adopt a budget soon. With about 38,000 students, the Anoka Hennepin School District is the state's largest. And during a year the district projected enrollment growth, COVID-19 had the reverse effect. We were 1,000 kids less starting out the year. We had also projected we were going to grow. Elementary students account for the largest share of decline as many families opted for private schools or homeschooling. Enrollment shortage meant a loss of about $10 million in revenue for Anoka Hennepin. Because of the reduction in, in enrollment and the projections moving forward, we're projecting that we'll get it back about 20% of those kids we lost last year. The district's chief financial officer, Michelle Vargas, says staffing was cut due to enrollment declines, not because they needed to make budget reductions. But Vargas says the district will carry about a $5.5 million deficit into next school year, which is a larger deficit than it would normally have. While federal dollars can backfill some of the costs, the district is waiting to see what happens at the legislature to get better guidance on where money should be allocated. Depending on when we're opening in the fall, what it's like, are we still buying the personal protective equipment? You know, PPE. We weren't really budget budgeting for more of that. We don't know in the fall, are we still wearing masks and providing masks and those type of things. Vargas says right now, Anoka Hennepin's deficit is manageable because it can fall back on its fund balance. However, the district hopes lawmakers can agree on a funding plan soon before the school has to adopt a budget in June. We don't know what our funding is yet. So everything's based on assumptions and what we could get. Pafu Yang, CCX News. The Wyzetta School District is also estimating a revenue shortage of about $9.2 million. The shortage also stems in large part from an enrollment decline. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.